Well, hi guys, it's uh, ten past three, uh, Tuesday, end of November. Is it 29th or something today? I'm not sure. So as you can see, let me just step back a bit. I'm suffering at the moment. I've had a bit of float the last few days, but I've given all this a good pressure wash and cleaned down. So this is a lot better now. I've cleaned out this shed where the hydroponics are. Still a few plants here for her to decide what she's doing with them. But that's, uh, that's it all there now. Doing okay. I transferred some tomato plants uh, up there these are the vine tomatoes uh, they seem to be doing okay I've actually hit this morning put some seedlings in here they are actually too small but it was just a case put some in and see what happens that's actually a uh, if I can get on it that's a spring onion I don't know if it'll grow up but what I have decided uh, this soil here uh, what I've been using I'm going to cancel all this out. Uh, I've got some seedlings growing here. I think that's spinach. I honestly can't remember. And I think this is saffron. Uh, the other ones, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm going to full hydroponics growing. So I've actually got seedlings in these. Uh, and give some humidity. You can see here all my sponges and, and things like that. So I'm just trying a few different methods. So this one is just in the fluid with no cover, but nothing's happening at all. This one, I'm just trying it in one of these containers from fast food. They're attracting a lot of bugs, that is for sure. Now, I only planted them yesterday, nothing's happened. Oh, there's a, a soybean. I don't know if you can just see that soybean there it looks like that's starting because i do like soybeans in here i've got uh, cucumbers and a couple of them have started to sprout uh, and in this one you can see there now these are only two days so it looks pretty successful these uh, i only did that one yesterday now the thing is i started doing it before i got those trays here now, I don't know if you can actually see, one seed is growing there. That was a seed what just went on top of the uh, rock block. None of the others are actually growing. So, I don't know. I think one of the biggest problems I've got, and I know it is because in one of these trays, I sowed a load of pak pak choy, I think it's called. And they normally start growing as soon as they hit the soil. Now what, what tends to happen here, you buy online, well look at that, almost 34 degrees, 99, I can feel sweat rolling down me here, and I've got a snotty nose. Uh, the big problem is, is the seeds. They repack them here, and you get them just a little tiny bag see-through, and there might be 40 or 50 seeds in, you don't know how old they are, you know, how long they've had them, have they stored them correctly, have they got damp? Because I got some lettuce seeds the other day through, and you could crumble them in your fingers. They were absolutely just turned to dust. So the ones what are only two days old, they're sprouting. That's from a proper supplier. And I mean, we're only talking maybe 10, 20 cents more, but at least they look okay. And they're in a little tinfoil bag with the expiration date, everything. So, right, I'll just show you how we're going here. I've got a few empty pots at the moment because all lettuce we've eaten. It's all done. Uh, you can see my vine, it's a, bit, it's a bit bright today. You can see all my vine tomatoes up here. They're all doing okay. Uh, I've got too many because these are vine tomatoes as well. And there's some here. Uh, down here, if you can see the uh, melons, see all the flowers on them. They just don't seem very big plants, but they're flowering. So we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I'm actually just giving this a flush through. Water's going in okay now. You can see all black on the floor here. I've just flushed out. And I tell you what, this system though gets a lot of mosquitoes in it. Well, when you put hose pipe in to flush it through, mosquitoes won't come out. Unbelievable. But I think that's definitely the problem here. I've, I've realised now two or three times I've planted seeds and nothing's happening. You pay a little bit more, which I did the other day. 
and I planted them and two days later they're already sprouting so I shall stick to that now I'll stop me Yorkshireman's head trying to save a few bucks and and just get proper seeds because the trouble is now I'm waiting I need more to start especially this uh, hydroponics I want to get this up and running you know full capacity and I don't know why I always have a big problem with uh, with this parsley you know I either over water it, it dies or I don't water it enough so I mean it feels uh, could still feels a little bit damp but dying now maybe because the Sun comes in here parts it there maybe need to get them out but anyway I think they're they're dead but anyway that's the issue I'm gonna get rid of all this soil don't need it I'm not gonna grow anything now in a soil medium at all so it'll give me a bit more space as well and uh, like I say I want to get this completely up and running uh, I, I don't know whether I showed it the other day I've got grow light up there I've just temporarily put it there and you can see all spare cable uh, but it does light up pretty high, so that is 100 watt. Uh, it does light up pretty well. And those tomatoes I transplanted seem to be doing okay. So, we'll see. I just, like I said, I don't know whether these will survive or not. I think they're definitely too small to have put in here. But I just want to get things moving, and I've got that many of them. I've tried to grow celery. Well, this is celery at the back here. And again, that's as big as they've got, and they're starting to die so we'll forget that uh, I have planted celery in one of these I can't remember which one but nothing's growing at the moment so but like I said cucumber looks like it's coming and definitely my soybeans and I say I love them soybeans once they're boiled with a couple of buckets of beer very nice I think that I think this one actually is spinach if I remember rightly anyway they're moving slowly slowly but the, this one nothing and this has been longest one and you can see there's still plenty of moisture in bottom there but nothing happening on them hmm I don't know we'll see like I said I'm not a, I'm not a gardener it's all trial and error and the thing is I watch a lot of people online I watch one which is why this one here I've had it in this cupboard here in the dark because he covers us and keeps him in dark for about a week i've done that with this nothing's happened then i've watched another guy who puts them on his windowsill in this you know gets some sun and and they're growing okay and then i've seen another one who just puts them on the side out of direct sun so i think it depends on country i think here direct sun would be a bad idea purely because of the heat you know it just is so hot and it's just going to get hotter and hotter now like i say at the moment it's nearly 34 and within a couple of months we're going to be up to the 40s so definitely need to keep them out of direct sun anyway so everything else is doing okay like i say i've had a bit of flow i've still got it my nose is still blocked my sinuses but <laughs> what pisses me off is a day like today even though i feel a bit shit and i'm so hot and sweaty it would have been great to jump in pool but i've still not got around to it so the next couple of days I'm definitely going to get onto this give this a good jet wash out and try and uh, fill that leak at the back of that light even if I don't it doesn't matter it only loses a couple of inch a night and uh, I don't know if you can see pipe there sticking out where is it just there I only turn a tap on it tops it back up so I think I'm going to get this filled up just so I can use it but I'm saying that now it'll probably be cold well not cold every day but fucking raining or something so water's running back in there okay you can see that see it running in everything seems to be doing okay like i say i'm just behind not planting because it's seeds you know absolutely crap fish are doing okay although again it's a bit warm today so they're hiding underneath i chopped all that back as i did before so that's okay because i've noticed vines are coming again at the back Although roots have not started penetrating yet. Can't see any. So I'll not worry about that for now. So that's it. So I just need these seedlings to start growing because I, I really want them whatever comes up I want to plant half in here and half in the aqua in the hydroponics and just see which one actually comes out the best. 
I mean, I'm, even if it's the aquapon uh, the hydroponics, I'm not going to abandon this. It's just finding out what grows best in what conditions. Uh, like the melons, I can't grow in there because it's high off the floor. But if these melons are productive, then I'll definitely keep up with them. I do have some more seeds, but I'm not planting them yet until I see how these come on. So I think that's about it, guys. With, uh, I mean, mangoes. I mean, I don't know if you can see all them flowers. Let's have a look, zoom in. Look at all them. This tree is absolutely prolific. It really is. And I mean, just a, a little bit of wind. And I don't know if you can see, look on the floor. There's already hundreds of them dropping everywhere. So they, they have never made it to maturity. But so we normally get four or five of those big sacks full of mangoes when we send someone up to climb. The rest of them fall naturally. Uh, and we just pick them up that morning and, uh, and eat them straight away that day. Or she normally makes smoothies. But uh, like I said, guys, that's just a quick update. I just wanted to show you that every, everything's done now. It's just seedlings. So I don't know what else I can really update you on until these seedlings are ready for transplanting. So... I've put 12 in each one, so the plan is like spinach, I'll put six in here, six in there, and so on. And we'll just, because some of these tomato plants, which are just, I've only got them in here because I had them, and they grew. I mean, I'll just, I don't know, I'll not throw them, I'll just plant them, maybe, maybe I'll just plant them down here on the floor, see if they grow, instead of just throwing them in the bin. Uh, anyway, right guys, it's time for me, I think, to take a bioflu tablet and have a cup of coffee. Right guys, uh, well, you can see all my Christmas lights are up as well. The Christmas tree, I think I showed that before. But that's me done. Right, guys, I shall uh, talk to you later. Cheers. Bye-bye.